now I'm preparing for the heat pump installation so I need to tidy up this area and empty everything really so that they can come and install the water tank in there 180 liters and the piping will come up in this room up there I think is the best option than below than below the other option is below sorry for the mess we need to move almost everything from this room really so here we are that's the room now how it's looking so i've emptied i need to empty this i need to take this off as well this cupboard but it looks like so I wanted to to explain the reason of going for a heat pump when I first inquired about a heat pump um, Octopus Energy said we they, they quoted us 8,000 that was before the new grant figure of seven and a half so the new the, the grant was 5,000 before so I was going to have to pay two and a half uh, thousand but when uh, the government changed their their mind and decided to go for uh, seven and a half we then had paid 500 deposits so all in all the court itself it's eight thousand and what we are we've paid the 500 and that's it really the reason why was because of that I had to investigate that this is where I think I believe this is where the the boiler the water the water tank is up there and up there as well there's a couple of leaks that okay when i happen to change the pressure on the boiler so when i change the pressure here from where it is it's on one under under one if i put it to two the following day the leak appears so instead of me investigating and you know uh, sorting this out I decided to get rid of it for those reasons really because it was cheaper for us it was going to cost us less anyway and the environmental impact on going electric getting ready getting the furniture moved to the right places for tomorrow when they start on Monday so here is the water tank where it's going it's going in here so all has been tidied up and it's up to them tomorrow what they need and the piping is in this room so I've moved this bed moved a lot of things in here so we either do it from the floor or do it from the top there to go into where the water tank is that's the bathroom where I've put some clothes in there all the stuff that we have I think this gives us an opportunity to also tidy up just to come back into the airing cupboard this is where our controls are the hot water and the heating of the the um, towel rails in the bathrooms but we as you can see I don't know if you can see these are off and this one is on auto for the hot water this one is off because we hardly use them uh, the bathroom heaters really so with the heat pump we will have them turned on I believe so that will be interesting really and oh it was my daughter's birthday over the weekend so that's why we've got those but yeah now this is where because it was windy this weekend uh, I've had to move these bins into here but yeah this is where also we keep our this is where my office is so I've had to move 
some of the things to the office. So it's a bit messy. Sorry about that. This is the man cave. So half of the garage. There'll be a video about this in the coming episodes. So do subscribe to the channel to hear more on this room. This is the induction hob that we are going to replace when we remove our gas. We're going to put that induction hob and it's a plug and play, simple and straightforward. So just remove the gas hob that is there and just plug this one on and we should be up and running. So this is where I've put some of the things, some of the junk that I was moving from the uh, airing cupboard and all that. So uh, this, these coming five days, it's going to be messy. It's going to be really, really messy. And I look forward to um, having the, to tidy up really. Some of these things need chucking, if I'm being honest. Um, but I live with a, a lovely lady that seems doesn't want to get rid of anything. So I will hopefully get this out of the way. And when we tidy back up, when we're up and running on Friday, don't forget to subscribe to the channel where I will talk about this office space and the decking that is out there and explain what we have done. And just to explain, we had a couple of options to put the heat pump there, but the distance to the neighbor's window there was uh, not allowed. So we didn't have any other option but to put it at the front. So our heat pump is going to be at the front of the house. So there is the gas meter there. The car is just turned on. There is the gas meter there. That's where we are thinking of having our heat pump tomorrow and up into that room at the top there. That's it for today. Day zero. Here we go.